Assalamualaikum Today I'm going to continue with chapter 5 Organizational structures That support the strategic initiative In chapter 5 There are 3 learning outcomes Number 1 Compare the responsibilities of CIO CTO CPO And CSO And CKO Number 2 Explain the gap between IT people and business people and the reason this gap exists and number three define the relationship between information security and ethics in order for the organization to create their success and gain competitive advantage they need to work close together as a team so that's why it is very important in an organization to have a good structure I will explain to you to understand the basic concepts of what is titles, what is roles and the responsibilities of every employees in an organization in order to help the organization to build a very cohesive enterprise wide team. What are the strategic positions that available in an organization? Five IT related strategic positions CIO Chief Information Officer CTO Chief Technology Officer CSO Chief Security Officer CPO Chief Privacy Officer and then CKO Chief Knowledge Officer CIO Chief Information Officer What are the roles of the CIO CIO responsible to oversee all aspects of the organization especially on the IT aspect how well the organization keep their database maintain their data in the organization he or she must have a good knowledge in IT besides IT skills CIO also must have a strong business skills the broad functions of CIO includes manager leader and also as a communicator as a manager CIO responsible to ensure that all IT projects is, con is, is under control as a leader CIO must ensure that all employees in an organization is moving towards the company vision and mission and last as a communicator CIO must build a good relationship with their workers because these are the people who are going to help the organization to move forward the ability to lead technology in today's environment is a privilege don't take it for granted my prediction is over the next three to five years that we will need CIOs they will need to be responsible for the technology of the organization they will need to defend the enterprise they will need to create assets they will need to be more agile they will need to deal with the cost curve of technology they will do all of that the second position is chief technology officer which is CTO responsible for ensuring that the organization is performed at a very high level example in terms of how well their system how efficient their system speed accuracy availability and reliability of their IT system so this guy must take charge of all the equipment all the software all the hardware in the organization position number three is the chief security officer the responsibility of CSO is to make sure that the organization is secure in terms of their IT systems viruses boots scammers hackers those kind of security threat that is going to harm the system of an organization number four chief privacy officer responsible for ensuring any ethical and legal use of information in an organization CPO is responsible to make sure that the data that is actually in the organization 
is used in a right manner to avoid any unethical and legal illegal use of an information examples like um, use a customer data for their personal interest and last but not least number five is chief knowledge officer cko cko rules is to collect to collect maintain and distributing the knowledge in the organization example like now most organization is moving towards a big data what is big data with the spike in internet usage and other technologies the volume of generated data is growing exponentially at an unprecedented rate what is big data let's keep it simple big data refers to a collection of data that is so huge and complex that none of the traditional data management tools are able to store it or process it efficiently. Now, you know that big data involves lots of data, but have you ever stopped to think about just how big is big data? According to Forbes, there are 2.5 quintillion bytes of data created every day. CKO responsible to control over the data, which is known as the knowledge in the organization, 